Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it to. Welcome back to the channel. It's still running the same intro that it was in 2016, because I'm crap, and I've not come up with anything better yet. Um, I am, in fact, the man with the mostest when it comes to the French light tank, the Matt Chatillon. Well, I'm not the man with the mostest. That would be Hanzo Main, who's featured on channel before, and I'm going to show you one of his replays in just a short while. But why am I featuring the Bat Chat? Well, I'm featuring it because it's a tank that got a facelift in update 10.3. It's the French light tank de jour. It's a really lovely drive. It's a lot of fun. And as you can see here, when I relocate, it's a tank that can really shift when it needs to. And that's the key with this tank. Shifting fast until you run into tanks, uh, into houses, um, and doing good damages. God, I managed to miss a house. Everyone, clap your hands in the air with joy. I've been playing this tank a lot because Hanzo Main's uh, replay inspired me, and I wanted to cover off on this one particularly because it's one of the tanks that's really had a change to its play style. The Batchat features two guns. You can run the four-shot autoloader, which is the top DPM gun, and... It does a uh, much better penetration. Uh, it's the penetration that gun got buffed and all that kind of thing. And it's eight DPM got buffed and it, it does four shells, but they only do 270, right? And then you can run that or you can run the gun that I think has changed the way the tank plays. And that's the 105 millimeter D1504, which I'm running here. And the reason I really love this gun is because it gives you a 350 alpha burst. Three of them, that's 1,050 dumped in a light tank, and you can dump them pretty bloody quick. Uh, and the reason that was such an important buff, and the reason it's really raised the competitiveness of this tank, is that when the Bat Shack can fire a 350 alpha only once, that's so much better than when it used to have to fire a 310 alpha, right? You are doing more base damage. And sure, you might not be able to do as much damage over time, but it gives you more effectiveness as a peekaboom tank. You can play this like you would, I mean, a Leo or a 62A or a M48 pattern where you have one 350 alpha shot or that kind of number. And then you hide and you fire again, and you don't have to constantly reload the clip to be effective. An extra 40 damage is a lot. That's over 10% of a buff to the uh, the alpha damage of the gun, which is pretty cool. Uh, it did get nerfed to get that. You lost penetration on this gun, down to 235 millimeters from 240. And your heat pen got nerfed, but only by three millimeters. You dropped reload which is fair enough when you get more alpha and the overall dpm went down to about 2900 which is not amazing right but what it got was better view range a big buff on the view range about five percent up to 337.8 meters from 320 when you're at absolute maximum and a bigger alpha gun and that has added up to a tank that is just way more effective in this meta and a lot more versatile. Coupled with the fact that its most natural predator, the Sheridan, copped a big debuff on its uh, view range, you can now outspot Sheridans pretty handily, and that gives you a lot more opportunity to actually play the tank a little aggressively. And I think that the Bat Chat was already in a nice place, but now it's in a really defined role. And a lot of these patch notes, and a lot of these patch changes have specifically been, it seems to me, to define tanks into a lane or a role. Like the T-62A losing DPM, gaining armor. The Object 140 losing armor, gaining DPM. That kind of thing. I'm going to show you a game now from Hanzo Main in the Bat Chat. We're going to talk about this while we uh, discuss and sing the praises of this wonderful little French light tank. And I actually had two 4K plus games immediately after watching this next game. And this is the one I'm going to show you. Now, I probably undersold uh, this video at the intro. This is genuinely amazing, this game. Um, you're going to love it. 
You're going to love every wee little second of it as Hanzo goes hill. And we're going to start it right here on the mines map. Uh, you saw a 9.5k game recently in the VK7201 from his Royal Fatness. Not Fatness, but Fatness. You're going to see Hanzo have very similar numbers in a bat chat on mines. Yeah, do not adjust your stereo. You're hearing me correctly. I also want to highlight just how ballsy some of this play is. And he sent me an email saying, I kind of panicked at the end and made mistakes. And I don't know. I watch this and I think it's a superb drive. So Hanzo, you should be very happy with yourself. You know he's worried right now about getting 183 in the arse. Look at him. As soon as he finishes that clip, he's looking backwards. Has he seen me? Is he doing anything? I love the fact that Fortune's favoring the Brave here because going hill in a bat chat on mines without any real turret armor, you should be rewarded. I really applaud that. And he's doubling down on his own uh, on his own luck. The fact that he's he knows that he's got good spaced cover there with that rock and everything from the 183 is also very, very important, but goes a whole lot further when you realize that the T-30 is AFK. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, uh, it's going to be the T-30 that does, he farms all the damage off, but no. When I saw how much damage he'd done at the end, the T-30 doesn't really enter into it. Now, what I love about the bat chat, your extended view range, giving vision for everyone, that's all well and good, but the way view range works it's also like, it's not just about spotting things at maximum range. This is actually really amazing. This is such a great little piece of work, this. Watch Hanzo absolutely bamboozle this bloke. And then these next few shots are insane. So precise, so beautiful. And the, the piranha's like, whoa, 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 hang on. What? What? Whoa, who? What? What? Who? No, you can't be serious. He's absolutely serious. Doesn't even bother wasting a repair kit. What a drive. What a lovely bit of work. And the way he's just setting this up, this is the only thing I had a problem with. I was like, is he going to push this and take one? But no. No, he's actually only going to take the one. I thought he was going to take two there on the push, but he only takes the one. And he moves up to five and a half thousand damage. And just as well, because no one else is doing it, and he's kind of on his own. Now, as we all know, four kills, nearly four minutes left, three tanks to clear, and everyone else in the team dead, he'll soon start getting advice. Um, whoa, just jams through. One pussycat, two pussycat. Lovely use of the intra-clip reload booster there by Hanzo. And then he's relocating straight behind cover. Now, that's so unfortunate, because... What he did there was nearly letter perfect. But just because you've done excellent work with the process doesn't mean that you can always win. I mean, that's a great little bit of work there. I thought that was a little bit greedy, but still, you're up against it and you don't have a lot of opportunity. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. There you go. I forgot about that. He's going to try it again. Now, this Conqueror has just been touched up pushing around a corner. You think you'd be a little more weary than that? And he goes backwards, which is a bad idea because Hanzo has not been missing so far. We're up to six kills and eight and a half thousand damage. We're up in the rarefied air of 8K on a mines map with a bat Chatillon 25T. And this is where this grub of a mouse just will not give it up. And I was watching this and I was like, what is he talking about? What is he talking about? The mistakes he's made. I really loved this move too. The driving away, putting the the house between him and the target and just absolutely going bat, chat, mad. Um, oh, probably rushed that a little. Maybe should have been using the HE. But you, I mean... God, he's had such a good drive so far. You take three efforts and you go away with none. Now, this is one of the problems you have in the bat chat in these late game situations. When you have to dump damage and then it's at like a 15 or 16 second reload after, you kind of had to go a little bit earlier. 
And that means you've got to blow hit points because if you leave it too late, you won't get a reload in. And that mouse is more than a clip, right? He's more than a clip. So he's got to get two clips worth of damage on the mouse. And he doesn't have the hit points to actually do that. He's got to try and nickel and dime the mouse down until he can clip him. But the mouse is just refusing to play ball. I really admire Hanzo for what he's doing here. And he's a man after my own heart. I've always said a draw is as good as a loss. In the win rate, it only counts wins. If you have a draw, it goes in the loss column. It doesn't go in as a win. There's no draws. And Hanzo refuses to play for the draw. The mouse is playing for the win, but he's not really playing that hard. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. That's an absolute heartbreaker. And right here is where I think if he had his time again, he probably would have just hugged the side of that mouse. Because you can see what we talked about before. He's on a full reload and he's got him down to inside a clip. But the mouse won't really push him and he won't give him the chance to clear him. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. 9,547 damage. And the mouse is just going to start, what, side scraping? Nope. Not really being that aggressive. Oh, Hanzo. He went for it. He went for it. He went for it. And I love him for going for it. What a drive, mate. Take a, take a bow. Everyone give a short round of applause and then get back to work. Uh, plenty more tanking to do here. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for your continued support. Like the video. Leave a comment below. And until next time, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now. Hanzo, you absolute monster.